Hi, this is Len Edgerly for the Kindle Chronicles, and I'm going to give you a little walkthrough of the new Kindle Paperwhite. This is a review copy. So you can see on the right here, I've got the Paperwhite, and on the left, the Kindle Touch. They look kind of similar at this point because the Paperwhite's built-in light isn't visible. But if we turn the Touch on, and you'll see, you'll recognize that screen, and now you're going to see something completely different. And uh, when you turn it on, it's now come to life. You swipe in any direction on this. It doesn't matter where you swipe. It's not constrained. And there's the difference. You're seeing almost an LCD type brightness, but it's, it's a soft light that is shining down into the screen and makes it very easy to read, of course, in the dark as well as uh, in the light. The way it's controlled on the home screen, there's a button here and you'll see that if you if you take it all the way down the screens are very similar now you're still looking at the underlying e-ink screen but if you take it all the way up on the brightness you reveal the the brightness of the paper white some other things which are you'll notice there is a physical home button on the touch and to reach the home button on the there there is no physical button on the paper white so you touch the home icon up there the touch screen seems more responsive. It's a, it's a different design. You'll, I don't know if you can see on here, but the touch screen is much deeper uh, set in because it's, it's an optical touch screen and there are sensors figuring out where your finger is touching. And uh, whereas this is a capacitive screen on the paper white, so if you, you, you actually are touching it, it, in my experience, it just seems to be a little faster. And if you're going to highlight something, you're, you're, the motion of dragging is uh, very quick on the paper white. It's, of course, not bad on the, the touch as well. It's similar. And, uh, but the, the, you'll feel a difference. I, I, in my use of it over the past couple of days, the responsiveness of this screen is much, is, uh, seems better than the other one. One thing you'll notice in the touch, uh, the uh, new paper white that's uh, pretty cool is that you can uh, see how much time it's going to take for you to read uh, to the next chapter. So in other words, if I queue up War and Peace here, I'm still reading War and Peace, and I go to the menu, and I go to Reading Progress there. I touch that, and I've got some choices. I can choose Time Left in Chapter. And now, I don't know if you can get down there to see that. You probably can't, but uh, it's saying... Uh, four minutes left in chapter. So, in other words, it's timing how quickly I'm reading it and telling me that, you know, if I'm about to fall asleep and I want to get to the end of the chapter, I've got four minutes to go there. Uh, page turns, I think, are uh, supposed to be a little faster on the paper white. So there's the speed on the touch. Paper white, it, it's noticeably faster. If we do a little test here, I'll try to tap it exactly the same time and the paper white is just jumping ahead so you've got a little faster speed on that. The uh, weight of the paper white is essentially the same as the touch. The paper white is seven and three quarters ounces, the touch is seven and five eighths ounces, so just one eighth of an ounce difference. But one thing that I think will probably be the case is that if you put the standard case on the touch which has the um, the light in it, which is, you know, by far the best way, you know, it's a, there are other lights out there, but with this uh, built-in light to the case, you've got a nice cover for the touch. Well, the touch is not available anymore, so this is just sort of showing what's improved. The weight of this cover with the light is uh, 12 and 7 eighths ounces. If you get the Kindle cover, which costs $39.99, it's $20 cheaper than that lighted cover was, and you just settle that in there, it makes a very nice snug fit, and also what's cool is that uh, it has kind of a magnetic close, and when it closes it goes to sleep, and when you open it, it opens up. And this uh, gives, this is, uh, as I say, a little bit lighter when you have the combination, because this case doesn't have a light built into it. Um, it's a, I, I think it's a pretty significant improvement in 
this basic touch Kindle, or this is now the top of the line Kindle, and uh, I, I, I think that if you're, uh, you know, you're ready for a new Kindle, uh, certainly the touch works great, and uh, but the cleaner design and the, the speed and especially the, the built-in light make the, uh, the Kindle White certainly worth taking a look, and it's uh, become, I'd say, my favorite Kindle at this point. I do like the $69 Kindle, which is much lighter, uh, but this has uh, really the, the ability to do the highlights and everything with a, a touch uh, keyboard, I think, is, is much more desirable. Some things it doesn't have, of course, is there's no uh, place for you to uh, do audio and there are no speakers. It does seem to be like a microphone in here. I, I wonder if there is a microphone built in for future use and there's no physical home button. That's uh, some first impressions of the new Kindle Paperwhite which begins shipping this week. This is Len Edgerly for the Kindle Chronicles.